each other so as to resolve a lot of religious and cultural conflict, and for that matter, moral relativism. The first and foremost thing that we have to realize again, as all every religion has to realize that reality is unitary, that there is an ultimacy to unity. Now, that immediately invalidates the idea of a finite reality or a random reality. Okay, those, those two things, finite, okay, finiteness can exist does exist within the physical world the physical world the physical universe itself is finite it's finitely expanding however we cannot say that the universe is only finite okay the, whole, the entire idea of infinity is the expansion okay the, the dynamism the intrinsic dynamism that we can attach to stasis or unity so we have unity or stasis and eternal dynamism or catalysis, which is infinity. And so religions have to understand that whatever their conception of God or the one or the most high or the nameless is, it has to be an ultimate coupling of minimality or unity and maximality or infinity. There's no getting out of that. And that's that lands you exactly into the CTMU. The CTMU has a primordial principle called multiplex unity where every multiplicity has to exist within a unity and unity can of course infinitely self-configure meaning that when you understand this you realize that god is internally evolving now internally evolving means that externally we have undefined potential it's not i mean it's infinite in an in an unbound sense a lot of times when we think of infinities we think of you know the infinity of the natural numbers the infinity of the rational numbers the infinity of the real numbers and we have this linear completed in the sense of infinity it's a kind of static infinity that just exists out there it's independent of anything no 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 infinity is intrinsic dynamism okay you have infinity is more accurately represented not by an output not by an entire sequence or set of natural numbers but by the entry operation the successor function which generates the natural numbers that's the more accurate understanding of infinity because of course the function still has the output as a part of it so the function is once again this entry successor function which takes a you know, generic quantity of potential call it n and then applies the union operation by saying you know n plus one equals you know the set right the empty set we can say and then you can adjoin another set and you just begin infinitely nesting empty sets of course an empty set or a zero dimensional point are not exactly the most elegant primitive objects okay the, what can you construct out of empty sets really right what even is an empty set so that's let's set that aside and move into the idea of okay which religions pass the test? Well, you have almost every religion which recognizes that there is, number one, a metaphysical aspect to reality. Therefore, there's an infinitary aspect, this finite physical reality, and that that infinitary aspect must ancestrally regress to some unity or ultimacy. Then almost every religion passes that test, which means that nobody, almost nobody has to truly give up their religion. And hence, it's not totally unrealistic to to convergently interpret all religions into a meta religion and see this happen in our lifetimes this can be a movement right the meta religion movement